All right, Kenman here, and today we have an action-packed unboxing. What are we going to get into? There is a bunch of stuff in here. This was sent to me by my buddy Mikey Trails. I'll put a link in the description. Go check his channel out. He sent me several things to review and a gift and a project. All types of stuff today. Let's get in and find out. All right, nice controlled cut across the top there. Protect everything inside. Oh, all right, we have one thick package. We have a O knife. We have a Rosecraft. And we have a bag. Bag on the floor. Here it is. As you know, I am a little long winded, so I kind of have to split this up. I apologize in advance. But I'll do have an unboxing video soon for this Rosecraft right here. And I will have another unboxing very soon for this O-Knife right here. So stay tuned for those. What is the stuff here that we are going to check out? Thank you, Mikey Trails, for sending this up. And right here we have some scales. I'm going to leave them in this bag for now. They are scales from the Kaiser Dogfish. I have a dogfish myself right here. Flipper tab, got the front flipper, nice button lock from uh, Kaiser. Can swap that clip to the other side. I enjoy the dogfish. So he's, eh, I want to take him out. He sent me these scales for a little custom job. Looks like there's a little nick right there. No worries. So we're going to try to do some type of a laser mark, something on here. There's a lot of thick texture on those grooves. And so those are high points and low points, which are definitely going to affect our abilities. So we will see and try to figure out something fun, neat pattern. If anyone has any ideas or thoughts, comment below. We have all this uh, real, real estate space on the inside we can use for tests so I can uh, go in there and test laser mark settings and we can dial in something that's going to look good. Problem is, is it's going to either look good down in the groove or up on top of the groove, not both. And so when the laser mark passes, it's not going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. It's just going to go one setting. So we'll try to see if we can figure out something that looks good uh, at both of those heights. Since it varies so much, it'll be, it'll be an interesting uh, job, but stay tuned for that in the future. Dogfish is a fun one. Then he sent a big old ooh, Devo Knives bottle opener. That is a cool bottle opener. Ooh, look at that texture on the back. Very nice. I put that on my bag. Something like that. Bunch of stickers. Oh, Rob's BEDC Petrified Fish. Ooh. The Vision R like playing card. That's cool. Nip Light from the Devo. Another great drop bear from Kaiser. MO. Mama Mayhem Geese. Havoc Sticks. Nice Pelican. Pelican makes some really nice cases. Nice uh, patch. What are these? I can't remember. Like that rubbery PVC patch. Extra heavy duty patches. Kaiser Cares. BEDC. Ooh, a Jemmy Crow. KC from the Knives Fast. Ooh, an MPG EDC. I don't have one of those. I don't have a lot of those actually, but not this this one. Good old MPG. I just finished a custom for her. And I got a few things I'm sending out to her as well. Hello, my name is Influencer. <laughs> That's a fun, another one of those. Uh, kind of rubbery PVC patches. Thanks again, Mikey, for sending this stuff out. Very cool. I'll go through the stickers. Any uh, du duplicates that I have, there's a couple of them. Um, I will put a, uh, a way for giveaways. And yeah, maybe, oh, this thing is great. Nice bottle opener. That's something good to have, like on the disc golf bag or something like that. And we have this, enjoying these unboxings where I got a bunch of fun stuff. I'm not sure exactly what's there. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more. <laughs> it's like a, 
uh, Mario Brothers, the raccoon, but then um, it's like the raccoon suit from like, what is that, Mario 2, 3, and others. And then it's got the Skeletor face. That's fun. Okay, so this is either one huge knife or several. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at this cloth. Give you a little clue. Riot. Wow, that is fantastic. I really like that one. Nice looking design. <laughs> Which one first? There's three of them in here. We'll start off right here. All right, it's got a lock. And then that. Okay, so is it better to hold it that way or this way? This way. So we have the Riot. This is not going to be full um, review. I do not have all the information, so I will look some of these up and do a... Uh, I'll test them out for a few days and then do an actual proper review of everything. So this unboxing will give us a bunch of videos for the next several days. All right. Ooh, look at that. So we have a gravity knife from Riot. This is the um, one that has the replaceable uh, razor blade on there. So you can pop that blade out. Um, basically just pop that off there. Take that blade out. You can put a new blade in. But the action is you bring that out. It drops out, drops back. You can sh probably shake it out. I am not as familiar with uh, one of these. I've I handled them a few times, so I'm sure there's some tricks and some, some cool moves that we can do that I will practice and kind of learn and test out over the next few days. But very smooth, very clean. I like the style, the color of that uh, handle. Uh, I believe this is probably in a like an anodized aluminum. So there's a lock right there, so that kind of closes it. So if it's in your pocket, you don't have it accidentally opening up on you because if it just goes like that and it goes this way. So that lock is a nice little safety on there. Ooh, you can lock it open or close. That's great. Clip can be swapped to the other side. Very cool. Like I said, I'm not going to do full reviews on these since I don't have all the specs and information. I will maybe put a little... Uh, spec guide up top there or right here for that one all right now i have to edit here we go take the second one out all right wow look at that so also has a lock right there so it is does not open i can bring that lock down ho, 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 ho. we have a dagger double edged that's what's up Timascus type of an inlay there. This thing is gorgeous. This is premium, no doubt. But that action, oof, feels good in the hand. Drops easy. Oh, these are great. I can see why people love these. The action is just excellent. You've got that dual edged blade. It's one of those situations where you can get away with that when you have a knife like like the dogfish or something where it opens from the side, you can't have this have an edge on it or it's that's an exposed edge. So a design like these where it's totally protected within um, or the out the front style, gravity knives and OTFs are kind of the ones where you're going to see that dagger blade. Oh yeah, this is fun. So then you could lock it out if you had some work to do. It's got a little bit of play to it. Wow, that's fun. All right, I'll put that one up there and bing. All right, and the third one. Oh, wait, no, this one's mine. This is my Trezin. This is a little $20 one. And uh, Mikey saw that I had this one. He's like, dude, I got a couple of those. You want to check them out? And I'm like, sure. Uh, for 20 bucks, though, this thing. Does this deal? It's not bad. All right, let's get to the third one from Mikey. Boom, we have a larger one. Ooh, cool looking inlay, got the lock on there. Oh, this guy knows Mikey. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's pretty dope. Get that lock, lock it out. They do have a little bit of play. These are almost more fidgety knives than than like day. I mean, you could use this knife for sure. It's got an L Max blade on there, sharp on both sides. Be careful. Ooh. Who has one of these? Anybody a, a Riot lover, gravity knife lover? Comment below. Which ones do you like? Which ones do you have? Which ones should I look at? Exoskeleton. So I will, uh, um, again, uh, mess around with these for a few days, check them out, see what I think. Here's the info for that one. And uh, I'll kind of break them down, talk about them a little bit more. I apologize for not having as much info today, but that's what's kind of fun. It's a little surprise, fun little unboxing. Oh, these are really cool. Boom, boom, boom. I got all the, the stickers. Ah, stickers and the patches. And then stay tuned. We're going to do the unboxing of this O knife. This is also um, from Mikey. I will uh, be sending this and all of the, these three back to him. But he has given me the Rosecraft as a gift. So we'll also do an unboxing of this pretty soon. What's it going to be? I'm excited to find out. So stay tuned for those two unboxings and another video pretty soon um, going a little bit more in depth to these Riot um, Gravity Knives. Thanks again to Mikey Trails um, for sending this out for review. Check out his channel. I got a link down below. Oof, a lot of fun stuff coming in the future on the channel. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.